Bill, how did, how did you make the bet then that Jensen was going to be this right about AI? And get this on guy was early? making graphics cards. Well, you know, it's really funny because the first time I had a serious conversation with Jensen, he told me, Bill, we got to build a company that if everyone called sick on the same day, the company would function without any problems because of AI. And if you read into that, there's a lot to understand. But that's the wisdom of this man. And I really connected with him on a human trust level. Of course, I admired him greatly. And when you talk, when you talk about the greats of all time, you, 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 just, you got him right here on stage. Um, and so that was an honor to team up with him. But I always said the trust is the ultimate human currency. And you know, he could be in a lot of places today. Jensen's a pretty busy guy. NVIDIA's doing pretty well, in case you haven't noticed. Um, but he's here. He shows up. And he wanted to be here. And I think that's really it. Last year, we were talking about animation and voice-activated agents, remember? And now we're talking about reasoning models, connecting workflow data fabric to a control tower to monitor team of agents working with an open architecture, all hyperscalers, any data model, any system of record, just be the central nervous system. I like to think of it as the supercomputer, right? Yep. Meets the data processing automation workflow platform of ServiceNow and changes the world. I like that. That's <laughs> I like that. Uh, <laughs> and you aren't the only ones. So Jim Cramer, all my friends, uh, recently said on Mad Money that NVIDIA and ServiceNow are the first companies that together are delivering real value to customers with agentic AI. What are, what are some of your favorite examples of how you two are delivering value together? Well, you know, in order for us to, to uh, add value in the work environment, we know exactly how work is done. It's by people with intelligence who have access to data, understand the work that needs to be done, able to work as a team, and in ambiguous environments, which is what we do for a living, no, nothing is perfectly characterized and nothing is perfectly codified. And so you're in environments where things are ambiguous and you have to reason. You have to apply rules, you have to apply uh, theorems, you have to provide knowledge, and you reason through problems step by step. As a result, you're able to solve problems that you've never engaged before, um, and you're engaging it for the first time, but somehow you do it incredibly well. And so we want to create those digital workforce, digital employees, if you will, who, come, who are our partners to amplify our capabilities and do a whole bunch of mundane things and automated things or maybe even larger scale things that requires uh, too much data for any human to put in our heads. But those agents don't have any trouble with that. And so we would like to have this digital team, digital agent team. And, um, that, that conversation, that vision, led to today. And we built it step by step by step by step. And one of the things, you know, on a personal level, what I love about Jensen, many things, but, you know, he really started out from humble beginnings. And I think a lot of people out here can appreciate great leadership and an American dream or a world dream story like Jensen. Um, you should tell him about Denny's and... Let's keep it real just for a second, just to like loosen it up, because you know I had the deli, you had Denny's. We we kind of always had that back and forth. Denny's is still my first company. <laughs> you know, if if uh, I tell Kelly if I were still working at Denny's, I'd be CEO now. <laughs> she just said she's just happy I'm not there. Yeah, Bill, we gotta get we gotta get some of your sandwiches. Jensen has served us. Oh, I'm from such Denny's. a good you know, cook. We, we're waiting on lunch for you. Nobody flips eggs better than I do. <laughs> All right. All right, I could so, over easy eggs both hands. Uh, the issue with letting Jensen talk about Denny's is that is all we will do the rest of the day. So we've right. got we to bring it back yeah. there. Parting words for everyone here navigating the AI era as leaders. What should people think about? What should be their North Star as they re-architect their teams, as they chase new markets, as they build new products? What do they need to do? Well, remember, remember the first thing that you need to do if you want to engage AIs, you have to start by thinking about the platform. And I, I made a good decision for our company when we selected ServiceNow. And, and the reason why you want to start with the platform is remember that your employees only get better through the flywheel of 
your onboarding, your continuous training, your evaluation, and then giving them good work to do, that entire flywheel is necessary uh, for us to have great employees. The same thing, the same thing goes, the same thing goes with uh, AI agents. And so the first thing that you want to do is you want to select a good platform. And, and the thing that's really great about ServiceNow is that it's been selected by thousands of customers. And we're, we've selected for ourselves. Uh, it's enabled all of our IT, all, all of our uh, cust uh, all of our employee services to become self-service. And so we can ask our agents a lot of prob questions and help us solve problems. And now, with our new model, new reasoning model, so we can have this new reasoning model go off and do a whole bunch of research for us. Maybe it's not, it's no longer a one-shot, one-shot and done answer. Maybe it's got to break it down and go do some research and then come back with a come back with an answer. So we now have the ability to do that with April Nemotron. And I would, you know, build on that by saying everything we did was with Nvidia from the very beginning, and I think we simulate a one-company model very well. We put hundreds of engineers shoulder to shoulder together to build, to build the dream in the first place. And we wouldn't be where we are without NVIDIA and without Jensen's vision, I'll tell you that right now. And I think that's such a beautiful thing, that we can literally simulate a one company model even though NVIDIA is a company and ServiceNow is a company, because trust is what we have together. And I will say this, for you companies out there, like Stellantis, like Siemens, like many others that you saw on stage, AstraZeneca, et cetera, AI, is proactively and predictively running these companies. And just think about security and intrusion and catching something before it actually happens. Think about creating a net new business model if you're in the hardware business and you wanna make your margin on the services and you have to arbitrage the labor force and understand in real time the predictive analytics around the boxes that you have out there, the workforce you have to service them and how much you can charge a customer and give them a great service. The operating technology in all these companies is now coming front and center. We're solving problems on the shop floor, on the assembly line. Think about tariffs, Jensen. The idea of No, tier... don't think about it. No, don't think about it. <laughs> but look, you know, tier two. Chill, it was going so well. I was having good time. <laughs> you got to be ready for everything. Kevin, Kevin's He'll just save back. you money. He'll save you money. Active is back there. <laughs> Kevin, he's talking about tier two and three suppliers and signing up new ones to monitor and manage this new situation on the fly. Whereas with a system that's been there for a long time, it would take him months to actually adjust to these shock waves. So I think real time is finally here, Jensen. And um, I think NVIDIA, you know, having been at your conference, is uh, literally the finest company in the world. Thank you so much. I really Thank you do. so much.